In this video, I'm going to introduce another logarithm base, just another one tossed out there. We've done log two, log base three, log base four, whatever. Um, but now we're gonna talk specifically about log base e. Remembering that e is that number I introduced in the continuously compounded interest formula, equal to about 2.718, an irrational number that if you go on to more advanced math classes, you will definitely, definitely, definitely use e quite a bit. It turns out that log base e is so important, they gave it its own symbol. It's an ln. This stands for natural log. So when you see ln, that is log base e that we're having down there. There's even a key for it on the calculator right below the log key. Um, there's a key that says ln. You just would use that one if you came across it in a problem. Um, log base e is just so much more important than all the other logs. We use it so much more often that we gave it its own symbol. Now, in terms of what we're going to do with um, natural log in Algebra 2, really what you need to know is that natural log and e to the x are inverses of each other. So natural log cancels out e's. So if we look at a problem like this that we're asked to solve, we want to actually get x by itself here. So the first thing we would do is we would add 7. Nothing too wild there. We get e to the 2x equals 50. And your thought might be, well, I'm going to take the log of both sides like we did in the video. I'm going to drag the exponent down and solve that. And that would totally work. But there is a shortcut that we're going to be using here. We're just going to take the natural log of both sides. Because when I do that, I know these are just going to cancel each other. I'm going to end up with just my 2x equals the natural log of 50. And the natural log of 50 is just something I can type in the calculator. When I do that, I get 3.91 roughly. So since I have a 2x there, I need to divide by 2. And I arrive at the solution 1.956 roughly. So if you see an e in a problem, the way you're going to cancel it is by taking the natural log of both sides. One more example. Going back to our continuously compounded interest formula. Um, we actually did a very similar problem in the previous video where I asked you when the money would double, I think. Um, here I say I want to have exactly $3,000 in account compounded continuously. So my formula for that, if you had forgotten, was A equals PE to the RT power. I start out with $2,000, then I have my E to my 0 .035. I don't know T, but I do know my answer is supposed to be 3000 so what I'm going to do first is divide by 2,000, because that's just sitting there. I can get rid of it. I'm going to get 1.5 equals e to the 0.035t. And to cancel out that e so I can solve for t, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. When I do that, my natural log and my e are going to cancel. So I end up with 0 0.035 t on this side, and I just have to do the natural log of 1.5, which is going to be 0 0.4054, and I divide both sides by my 0 0.035 to get t by itself, I end up with 11.58 years. So it's going to take me a little over 11 and a half years, maybe about 11 years, 6 months, to get my $3,000.